Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big hand for uh, uh, Robin Williams that was just up here? Let him know. Yeah. Lord Strayhorn, let him know. Lord Strayhorn. All right, all right. Before I do a set, I like to feel the audience. So who wants to be first? You? You? Hey, sit down. I was just kidding. Actually, I'm married. In fact, I just recently celebrated my 20th anniversary. 20 years married to the same woman. 16 of them were happy, and only 14 of them were on Xanax. I've learned, you know, that the key to a long, happy relationship is you gotta have fun. You know, you gotta kinda keep it light. Like the other day, I was standing in the bathroom, I was sucking in my gut like this, and I'm standing on the bathroom scale, and my wife peeks in. She said, well, that's not helping. I said, yeah, it is. It's the only way I can see the numbers. <laughs> My wife, she says a lot of funny shit. Sometimes it's even on purpose. <laughs> the other day I was sitting in my big recliner and I had the remote control and I'm channel surfing between some soft core porn and the cooking channel. She walked in on me and she said, you should stick with the porn. You already know how to cook. <laughs> something in that porn, though, must have triggered something. Because the next thing I know, she grabbed me. She pulled me in tight. And she said, I want you to take off all of my clothes right now. And I was like, whoa. And then she was like, and I never want to catch you wearing my clothes again. That's just weird. <laughs> It's, it's not all kissy face and huggy body, though. I mean, you know, one time recently, she actually got really pissed off at me. In fact, she got so mad at me that she gave me the silent treatment for a week. Then finally, she couldn't keep her mouth shut anymore. She said, have you noticed anything about the last week? And I said, yeah, we've been getting along great, haven't we? I gotta give her a lot of credit though, cause she's always stuck with me through thick and thin. And she stuck with me through the whole thing when she caught me cheating. I know it's not my proudest moment, and I'm here to tell everybody here that I will never play Scrabble with her again. <laughs> we, we do, we have a lot of fun. And, uh, but I know she loves me, and this is how I know she loves me because she kept bugging me and bugging me that I had to get a physical. And I said, you know what? All they're gonna do is that he's gonna stick his finger up my ass and they're gonna charge me a bunch of money and I just don't wanna do it. And she said, well, you gotta do it. And I said, no, I don't have to do it. In fact, I'm putting my foot down. I'm not doing it. So I'm bent over an examination table this doctor's got his finger up my ass to his elbow when he clues me in that there's even another test I gotta go through and I'm like, fuck. He says, oh, but this one's not as bad. All you have to do is just pee in a cup. So I'm like, well, okay, that, that, that I can do. So I peed in the cup, he took the sample, he came back real quick too and he said, well, the results of the test say that you're in pretty, pretty good physical condition, but you have just a touch of tennis elbow. Tennis elbow? I said, that can't be right, Doc. I've never played tennis in my life. And he said, well, come back next week. We'll rerun the test and we'll compare the results. Sounds fair. So on the day of my follow-up visit, I decided, you know what? I'm a funny guy. I'm gonna fuck with this doctor a little bit. So instead of me peeing in the cup, I got my wife to pee in the cup. Then after I got my wife to pee in the cup, I got my son to pee in the cup. Then I was thinking, you know, I suppose there should be some kind of my actual DNA fluids in there, so. I whacked it into the cup. All right, I gotta tell you, I was, I was freaking smiling when I handed him that sample. 
I was even smiling when he came back in with the results. But when he read them, he said the results are your wife's pregnant, your son's a pothead, and if you don't stop whacking it, you'll never get rid of that tennis elbow. That's my time, everybody. Thank you very much. I hope you had a good time, because I did. Let him hear, Lord Strayhorn. Hey, big hand for Kevin back in the booth, spinning the tunes, man.